Hi, this is Jeff Kirsch again. In my exploration of found sounds, which I've been doing for many years, I found some things that work perennially. Uh, you can't beat a pair of brushes on a cardboard box. And I found quite a few things that really don't work. Hint, don't make instruments out of glass. However, I found something this past week <clears throat> that I haven't played much that is a little bit unique. This is an aluminum drain pan for a water heater. It's about 23, 24 inches, somewhere in there. It is made of aluminum. And if you look carefully, if I can get it right here, there's a thumb hole just like there is on a, a more recent frame drum. It's not for a thumb, but it's odd that it looks that way. I saw it at the store, I thought I've got to try this. So here is a little imp improv, excuse me, on an aluminum frame drum. Again, this is an instrument I have not played very much. Some traditional techniques work. Some of them require some adjustment to get the sound out of it. Obviously, this is much more dull than a frame drum. But one of my, I guess, rules I go by when recording is sometimes, say I'm playing a 22-inch frame drum on a track, I may play this underneath that track to give a little bit more dimension, a little bit more depth, just about note for note the same, but it is very dull. Think about how much a frame drum rings when you hit it with your thumb. And then maybe throw in some extra things. Because it's aluminum, I can do finger things that won't sound the same on a frame drum. The lack of a ring means I can use a little bit of tumback technique. And a little Indian split hand. Love that talk. Can't get quite the same talk out of a skin head. So here is the aluminum frame drum. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to keep working with it.